All right, so yesterday, I, did y'all, I hope y'all saw on our YouTube channel where well, I just torched this dumbass black conservative named David Lowry who came on here. He ain't have no facts. He didn't read nothing. Hell, he didn't even look at no pictures to understand what the hell he was talking about. And I just cannot stand when people say stuff and they don't even bother to read something before they open a damn mouth. That literally happened yesterday in a news conference where President Joe Biden took a question from a reporter who didn't know what the hell she was talking about, and even Biden was like, damn, you ain't the brightest bulb in the dark room. Roll it. Speaker McCarthy said that he asked you numerous times if there was anywhere in the federal budget for cuts, but he did not get an answer. So is there I got a specific answer. I got a specific answer again today. The first, I, you didn't listen either, so why should I even answer the question? I, we cut the deficit. Damn! Like, damn! You ain't listen either. I don't know why I should even talk to your ass. I'm, I'm a big Biden's translator. Why y'all, I'm even talking to your simple Simon ass. Play. By $160 billion. Billion, B-I-L-L-I-O-N. I, Damn, now you know somebody just, just pimp slapping you when they spell that shit out. He literally spelled out billion to her ass. Play. Dollars on the Medicare deal. We cut the deficit by raising the tax on people making uh, 55 corporations that made $40 billion to 15%, and the list goes on. So... But in terms of what he is proposing, is there any room for negotiation? What's he proposing? Did he tell you? He, he talked it? about... No, 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 I'm not being facetious. Did he tell you what he's proposing? He, he was talking about the bill. Yeah, but what, what does it propose? Do you know? I'm not being a wise guy. You all are very, very informed people. Do you know what that bill cuts? By basically, like, what your ass got? What you got? Then, the man literally just embarrassed her. Oh, y'all really are really informed people. What he was saying is, your ass don't know shit. Press play. He, there is a long list of things that it, it cuts. That no, no, it doesn't say. It says, does it say what it's going to cut? Or just... Damn. Her ass said, there's a long list of things it says it cuts. By like, what they at? Play. Say generically it's going to cut. Get the problem. Just, Rebecca, I don't know who that reporter was, but her boss should say, your ass in the timeout box. You know, I don't understand why reporters ask questions that they don't already know the answer to. Like, to me, it, it, that's the first thing. The second thing is don't carry any, any other person's water. Just because you heard someone summarize something and you, you don't, don't take that as fact, do your own research. And Biden was right here. You know, what she was asserting, what she was carrying forth, what she heard from the speaker was inaccurate. And he, he embarrassed her. So, you know, I hope her um, editor has a really good, long conversation with her about she really needs to do research, you know, before asking the president of the United States a question that simply is not so, that's based upon a faulty premise. See, Robert, this is the bullshit that happens all the time in this city. They'll be at the White House go, uh, some people are saying, and I love it when they go, who? Can you name them? Who, who, who some people? Uh, what, what they say. You should not... See, that's why... There's a reason why... Now, I've seen the Robert, you know, I guess because you love your guns, these black Republicans love to come on when you guest host because they're not going to bring their asses on here when I'm here because the bottom line is uh, they lying. And what, what, what they're not used to, they're not used to, first of all, journalists who actually read stuff who can also recite it to him in real time. Well, this was Biden's way of saying, don't ask me no damn question about what's in the bill when there's nothing in the bill. And so when she's like, it's a host of cuts, he's like, what? She couldn't even answer it. So even she didn't do her job by saying, McCarthy, show us a copy of your bill so we can actually know what you're proposing cutting.
<laughs> well, you know, this is part of the problem with what the way Republicans have tried to paint Joe Biden over the course of the last couple of years uh, by having this idea of Sleepy Joe, this, uh, you know, Dementia Joe, some guy who's barely standing up, can barely get by. They forget that Joe Biden is still sharp and still much smarter than many of them. And because of that, he can go toe to toe with many of these reporters. And I think that this is one of the things the White House com te comms teams needs to be uh, to get together on, because quite frankly, uh, we're talking about this right here. How many other networks are talking about this from today? How many surrogates from the Biden administration or out or from the Biden uh, campaign team are out uh, putting out talking points on this, sharing the clip online? How uh, what you in the last week or so we have Joe Biden proposing a very uh, reasonable budget, trying to maintain our uh, our debt rally rating across the world. At the same time, you got Donald Trump getting uh, getting uh, convicted. You got George Santos getting arrest arrested, and we find out about Clarence Thomas's sugar daddy. Uh, the White House needs to have a better way of carrying their message forward to the American people. You shouldn't have to go look for the message. There should be somebody from the White House right here on this show right now talking about this moment. And unless they can do that, they're going to continue to see Biden polling in the mid-30s. It's not because of the actions of the administration. It's because of the inability of them to carry that message to the American people and enter into the cultural zeitgeist in order to actually have some resonance around it to uh, boost the administration's poll numbers. Hey, Scott, he don't, he don't even say, he should stop even saying, I'm not trying to be a wise guy. No, he should let that thing sting. You know, every week I'm on some network defending Joe Biden and the Republican narrative, uh, political narrative is that he's old, he's slow, he's not sharp, he's got all these gaps. And if you heard his presentation today um, in, I want to say, Hawaii or wherever he was, in Ohio somewhere, I can't remember, he gave a speech at a press conference this clip that you just ran, where he's breaking down the budget, this is an extremely intelligent man with a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience. And sure, he's 80 years old, or maybe 82 when he, when he wins again. But I got to tell you, I'll take Joe Biden's wisdom and experience and his knowledge and experience of the budget, as well as international affairs, and all that he's done for this country over whatever the Republican Party has to offer. And that's just simply not much compared to him. He's a human decently, he's a humanly decent man. He's super smart, still sharp. And he just showed you in that clip you showed, as well as his speech and press conference today, that he's sharp as ever. I mean, I have gaps when I present, and I'm 60 years old, so I don't think it makes a difference whether you're 80 or 60, but he's an incredibly competent president gets a lot done, and regardless of what the Republicans throw at him, um, his excellence manifests itself every day. And so that's why he's going to get reelected again, I think. Oh, well, um, that's nice, but uh, I don't have no gaffes. So, I mean, that's, you know I mean, maybe you can play... If, More time on your own show. If, what are you talking No, I ain't, ain't, I'm just saying. I, time. I'm just saying, you might want to prepare more. <laughs> you might... You might want to pull. You a missed your cue about five shows you may, ago. You may, you I may, never you, said anything you may about want, it. You may want to put a little extra work in. Uh, and remember, <laughs> I set the cues. See, see, don't let me have to remind you who your 